Hey guys, I don't know if y'all have seen Saucy Bitch before, but here's a Saucy Bitch it. Can I have a bottle of that Bitch it? Where did you find a pterodactyl toe? And why are you about to eat it? Caucasians can't cook. Well, that's funny, because look at this macaroni and cheese I made. That ain't no damn mac and cheese! What was the ingredient? Cement and Velveeta? I ain't gonna lie to you, that macaroni is drier than a conversation between R. Kelly and a grown woman. I bet $100 you can break into a cop with that shit. You need to contact your local police department to sell it to them so they can make some more bullets and bulletproof vests. But the real question is, who ate the other section, bro? You must got Taz and Patrick Starr in that motherfucker. Up with new fried chicken sandwiches at our pop-up. This one is called the Devour Buns. Buttermilk. That has got to be the fattest shit I've seen in my entire life. That burger there should come with a leg amputation coupon. Y'all need to rename that the High Beaties Burger, boy. That joint come with high blood pressure and diabetes. Y'all establishment ain't selling nothing but premeditated murder charges, boy. I know y'all done caught a few bodies with them hoes. Damn rare chicken. <laughs> Go ahead and eat that chicken if you want to. You better hope and pray your chances of getting salmonella is medium rare, or your ass gonna be well done for. Look, to the people that saw that video and said, Oh man, that's too much grease. I can style hair with all that grease. I can fry chicken with all that grease. Bitch, your face got a bunch of grease on it. Shut up. Okay, the only thing wrong with that piece is that there ain't no meat on top of it. Because I bet that piece is grrrt in a bit. Came over this bitch house and she talking about she got banana pudding, fool. This is just fucking banana. She said that was banana pudding. I ain't never been in a situation like that. I'm putting it in the trash. But how you gonna make a dish that has all the ingredients in the name and then proceed to forget the most important part? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on the turkey this year, cuz what? Turkey? Boy, that's a piece of premium pressure-treated plywood. You can find it at your local Home Depot on aisle 46. I swear for a Lord. If your macaroni and cheese ain't looking like this, that ain't no damn mac and cheese. Boy, that look like hand-cranked pencil shavers marinated in South African swamp water. Boy, that's a pan full of pot and soil. Ain't nobody eating that, and I mean nobody. I wonder what Gordon Ramsay would say. Oh, dear God. Cake. Flip. Twist. Stab. Stare. Bloody hell. It's raw! I don't know how the hell you put brownie mix into a pan, stuck it in the oven, and came out with a mouse pad, but you definitely used the wrong ingredients. Boy, that is a floppy dish right there. That is a mattress topper. Stay your ass out the kitchen. Mama, you gonna season this chicken? It's already seasoned, Josh. Already seasoned? With what? That chicken like it was marinated in H2O, sprinkled with a pinch of O2, and then finished off with a half a crank of pepper. That chicken looked like it come with side effects, the main one being depression. That shit not seasoned. Mowing. You squeeze it any harder and milk will come out of it. Just the thought of eating soggy ass bread make me want to commit. I want you to know whoever made that burger that you wasted a life. Okay, TikTok. This is my finished product. If I could just stop you right there, good brother. Ain't nothing in that pan finished. You didn't even finish the word off properly. You said product with a capital K. Throw that prison food in the trash, man, before you hurt somebody. I know mac and cheese for the very first time made by a black person. I honestly don't know what the hype is all about. Oh nah, I can't even let you lie on my people like that, G. Ain't not nah, Niagara made that macaroni. Black people macaroni got more cheese than a snotty nose. That macaroni came from the mountains of Caucasus. That was your auntie recipe. It's the world's oldest soup. It's been cooking for over 45 years. Y'all said that soup been cooked for 45 years and ain't nobody got sick. Oh, I need some of that. Cause I know that meat tender, boy. They cooked the Covella bonds off that motherfucker, but the atomic structure has been decomposed. He's gonna look like this. Then you obviously doing something wrong. You you said mac and cheese. Where the cheese at? I thought you was in there making Rice Krispie treats for a second. That look like a pot full of elbows and Elmer's glue. Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? Got the chicken, got the sauce, let's go. Oh, forget being stupid. You gotta be an absolute nincompoop to eat some Taco Bell wings. They taco meat not even real. That shit look like dog food. Then we in a chicken wing source. Where they get chicken from? That's goddamn flamingo meat y'all eat. If I come into your establishment and I bite into what I thought was a donut just to find out that it's one of them forbidden booty noodles, I'm going to drop a bomb in that bitch. Lord ass count your fucking days. What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do with it? You mad at DoorDash. You paid them to bring you gas station pizza. You got exactly what you deserve, some premium bullshit.
I can tell you with utmost certainty, I wouldn't pay $1,000 to watch Jesus Christ salt the steak. But the fact that y'all go to this man's restaurant, pay him $1,000 to run salt through his arm here onto your food, and then complain about it like you ain't know that's what he's famous for, it's beyond me. So today, we're about to cook some hog toenails. Now don't knock them till you try them. You making some what? Boy, them are like OB centipedes on that plate. I'm not eating that shit. Somebody don't knock it till you try it. Boy, I'm kicking the whole damn door down, and I hope you're making it for that monkey. You can't tell me you didn't think that was McDonald's chicken nuggets and fries on my plate. On my mama legs, I didn't. That plate looked depressing as hell, boy. Food like it tasted better yesterday. Spent two shifts under a gas station food lamp. Talking about some meat nuggets. Them some meat fuckers. They look like Albanian swordfish meat. Then you got them dehydrated ass fries. Them not eating French fries. Them hoes Jewish. Here's the best way to make homemade chocolate bars. First, you're gonna melt your chocolate bar in a pan. What's up, gang? It's your boy Fredo. Today, I'm gonna teach y'all the easiest way to get a car. Step number one. Sell your car for car money. My husband is a picky eater. He refused to eat the gumbo I made last night. Nah, your husband ain't no picky eater. You just a shitty chef. Ain't no way you caught that bowl of goop gumbo. That was like gargoyle vomit in that bowl. You was in the kitchen cooking up some alchemy. Boy, that's a cancerous concoction you got right there. He should have fed your ass some divorce papers. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Boy, that milk spoiled like the youngest sibling. You don't smell it before you pour it? It's like cream of wheat that came out that jug, man. It's the only logical explanation for putting the milk in first. Cooked all the way through. I didn't think it was cooked at all. That chicken looked frozen like Elsa and Olaf now. If you don't do this... I am 24 years old, and I ain't not never seen nobody cook them hoes. I didn't even know that was a possibility. Do you know how deep in them trenches you gotta be to start turning struggle snacks into catastrophic condition cuisine? Man, prison in the 20th century looking sweeter and sweeter by the day, ain't it? Them boys eat better than me. I'm a law-abiding American. I might as well go to the nearest nursing home and start stone cold stunnering senior citizens. What that is you got there? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and give me peace. Come on now, give me peace. Oh, don't make me beg. Give me peace. Oh my god. Hey boy, where you get that from? Come on now, where you get that from? Give me peace. Give me peace. Sound like you was balling up a bag of chips when you bit into that chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. From now on, that's how I want you to fix my plate. People talking about if they give you that much food, it can't be real. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I don't give a damn if that's flamingo neck meat. I'm tearing that shit up like a bad check. I guarantee it. I stand by it. I don't know about y'all. Nah, let's just forget staying lean. How about you lean some seasoning on that shit, bro? That food look bland as hell. What you making with, Play-Doh? Hey, guys, let's use faux bones to make plant-based vegan fried chicken using bean curd. Hey, guys, let's not. If I bite into what I thought was a crispy piece of chicken, only to find out that it's a piece of artificial vegan baboon backbone, understand I'm going to fill the entirety of that establishment with uppercut. Mm. Now you wait just a daggone minute. What's going on here? This is supposed to be a seafood boil. I see food, but you know what I don't see? Seasoning. What y'all flavoring it with? The newspaper? This is French brioche perdue fourrée à la pâte à tartiner, a.k.a. French toast stuffed with Sprite. Y'all got Jerry and nephew to narrate that, didn't it? I turned on auto captions to see how it was spelled and my phone restarted. I am making peanut butter chicken. See? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there. You're not finna share that incantation with nobody, okay? If you put peanut butter on chicken, that is not dinner. That is a sacrifice. So I'm addicted to this. Um, not in the literal medical sense, but I don't think I could live. Oh! So that's what that meant. Uh, child. Can I get my kids' meal without the kids on it? Cook dinner for Bay. Where he going? Uh, to hell if he don't pray. You made that man a capital punishment plate. He eat that shit, he gon' die. Do y'all know that y'all could eat like the skin of chicken? I did not know that before. I would like take. I just want to let you know that your ancestors completely abandoned you, and I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and guess that you was an orphan at one point in time. 
You grew up in a gated community because ain't no way in hell somebody that looked like this didn't tell you that you could eat the chicken skin. That is blasphemous. I don't know why y'all be asking. See, I'm already angry, bro. The flour on that chicken was whiter than the crowd of the clan beating, bro. Come on, dog. Put some seasoning in the flour. She done put some water in here, some salt, some sugar. She making tangy Kool-Aid. Come on, cuz. Garlic. You gonna marinate chicken in water. That is absolutely blasphemous, bro. You should be kicked out of the kitchen. Okay, she making it. Just the crust right here, bro. I'm trying to figure out, because it wasn't no seasoning in that crust from what I seen. Okay, she threw a couple of little, little pinches, a little, little pinch in there, a little pinch. You can't even see it no more. Wash it away like sins, man. Come on, cuz. You might well say that. She out here rationing the seasoning or something, but it ain't, ain't gonna hurt nobody. I promise. Okay, she um, pulled it out the water like it's just... Scrum the leak, man. You might well throw that joint straight in there with the paper towel on it still, dog. Because that's what it's going to taste like. Thank like, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And she done pull it. And then the bad part, you could tell just by saw, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't dip it in nothing. That bit, boy, nah. Mm. You look like you bite people, so I'm going to choose my words carefully. Bro, I feel like if you didn't bite the handle off, it would have been a lot easier for you to consume than rot roller treats you eating right now. Perfectly cooked in only 20 minutes. I bet you think air spicy. That is United Kingdom cuisine right there, dog. That chicken so white I thought it had on camouflage in that rice. Like that chicken and rice got boiled in the same distilled water. You must use that John Cena seasoning on that because I can't see shit on it. Y'all, fuck a foot. I drop my drawers and put my ass in this shit. And I'm eating. Ah! I was talking about the food. Uh, if the ancestors didn't tell you, that's enough, bro. At this point, you seasoning the lemon pepper with wings. French toast, sausage, egg, and cheese, uncrustable was crazy. You said you made what now? Mm-hmm. Look here. Give me peace. Oh, come on now. Give me peace. Don't make me beg. Give me peace. This is fried chicken dipped in Kool-Aid. Oh, you wait till the dark and see this. You throw in some watermelon and a nigga be in heaven. You telling me hood meals gave you all that? Mm-hmm. Give me peace. Oh, come on now. Give me peace. Don't make me beg. Give me peace. Quesadilla. I apologize, but this particular piece of cinema is leaving me a bit perplexed. How does one submerge a taco into the sauce in which it was intended to be dipped, only to indulge in a portion that was not properly enveloped in its saucy goodness? Or in other words, how you gonna dip the goddamn taco in the sauce and they don't need the part that you got there on dip the taco in? Sorry, I was just eating the hottest hot sauce I've ever had in my life. It's called Louisiana hot. I'm sorry, my melanin deficient brother, but you couldn't be farther from the truth. I had a hot sauce so hot one time it made my fingernails sweat. That hot sauce was hotter than two rats fucking in a wool sock in the back of an 18 weather with the destination being Satan testicles, bro. You don't know nothing. If y'all go to Five Guys, get a grilled cheese cheeseburger. If you go to Five Guys, you better bring a cosign and a down payment. The folks be charging an arm and a leg for their food. Boy, you got to sell a kidney just for a little burger. Whenever I make hot dogs, especially for dinner, instead of wasting the water that I boil the hot dogs in, I'll just use it and make hot tea with it because you can't even taste the hot dog by the time you add the tea bag and the sugar. You'll, you, wouldn't, you can't even taste the actual like hot dog water. Let me make sure I just watched it right. You took a jumbo hot dog, cut that hole open with the back of the knife, then carved off the insides with a spoon, put the residue of the hot dog in water, cut open a tea bag, and poured it into the hot dog water. That's crazy. Then went on to make a mayonnaise raisin and weenie sandwich. You are trying your best to make white people look bad. Found some of my new favorite wings. Um, so these are actually made from jackfruit and pasta. If I bite into what I thought was a crispy buffalo wing. Only to find out that it's jackfruit and pasta. Everybody in the establishment is getting hit with the asta. La vista, baby. I'm lighting that bitch up. Imagine if I told you this wasn't actually chicken. I believe you. They look like fried band-aids with hush puppy crust. If your macaroni and cheese don't look like this before you put it in the oven. If your macaroni and cheese look like that, your intestines gonna be doing the tango. I swear for Lord. You're gonna spend a whole shift on the toilet bowl and your booty probably gonna fall off in that motherfucker. Wendy's, count your days. What is this? Said Wendy's need to start counting their days. Nah, you need to start counting yours. Exactly how many bites did you take out of that livestock on the bun before you realized it was raw? Bring your burgers through security. Already had a bite of the butter. 
please forgive me, my unpigmented brother, for I don't participate in too many aerial activities. And when I first saw this video, I thought to myself, why would you be worried about your burgers making it through security? I mean, I know they made out of beef, but they wasn't talking about violence. But what I do find a bit peculiar is the fact that you're biting bare butter with bunless burgers. I mean, I'm not trying to criticize, just making a suggestion. Maybe butter a bun, throw some cheese on it, maybe a little bacon. Put it all together and you have a better meal. Cornbread, baked macaroni and cheese, and baked... You said you baked the cornbread? Right on, right on. You said you baked the mac and cheese? Absolutely. You said you baked the chicken? Now that's a bit of an understatement. You scorched that, my father. Boy, I tell you one thing. Let you spit in my salad and toss it in some grease and your whole plate will get... That didn't come out right. I was, I was finna... Oh, you know, I'll probably leave this in here for about 20 minutes. I think get good and juicy. Look at that. Man, I swear, them people in prison know how to make everything but the right decisions. It's crazy. I'm in a hurry, but I need to get in some nutrients. So here's a frozen liver with some raw honey. You know, most people will like got like a granola bar or something like that. I had ranch dressing at a restaurant that was so much better than... You're not finna skip past there, bro. That music was not a good enough distraction. You just dipped a Pop-Tart in ranch. A brown sugar one at that. I don't give a damn what recipe you making. I need an apology video. Is that man eating a chupacabra face with an algae and moss marinade? Not to slap your mama. Your mama need to slap you. You ain't got no manners. You just gonna pour the season all in their eyeballs while they still alive, dog. The air fryer ain't meant for that. You gonna put them in there and blow dry them to death? Chicken fried chicken, rice, southern green beans. Okay, I'm from the M. I. Quick letter, quick letter, I, quick letter, quick letter, I, hump back, hump back, I, till I die. And I ain't never heard of chicken fried chicken. What is that, fried chicken squared? If you cook it with egg on the outside, is that chicken, chicken fried chicken? I'm trying to understand the math problem here. You saying what's wrong? I asked for a crispy, crispy chicken sandwich. I mean, if that's what you told him, I can see why he fucked it up. I, just, I mean, if you can translate it, though, I'm pretty sure we can make a correction. And it's fucking chitlins in her macaroni. This is why you don't eat at other people's house. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw that, I thought that was a pot of mac potatoes. And I was very angry about that. It seemed like a very terrible pan of macaroni. Upon finding out that there was chitlins inside of that. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Everybody getting lit. Got a perfectly seared steak. Perfectly cooked. I come to y'all today with a confession. If you followed me for a minute, you know that I've had a plethora of videos flaming people for eating steak to be pink on the inside. Well, one day I decided that I was going to cook a steak for the first time in my life. I followed Gordon Ramsay to the T. All right. This joint was looking good, smelling good in a bit. And then I, I, I cut into it and it was pink on the inside. Now, obviously, I had a little dilemma because I'm used to like medium well, but I'm like, shit, I made it. Got to try it, bro. I bit into it. Best steak I ever had in my life, bro. It was so good. I haven't ate steak since then just because I ain't told y'all the truth yet. That shit fire. Does anyone else put hard boiled eggs in their spaghetti? How about a hard yield? Hell no. Nah. It's spaghetti, not spa eggy. The British food you Americans haven't stolen yet. Whoa, you might want to cool it, fam. I don't think you really got room to be talking with your country history. Y'all done stole from all over the globe and still ain't figured out season. We don't need to rob y'all. That's a piece of sausage wrapped in pastry with a little butter rubbed on it. Well, let me tell you something about America. We have this thing called a hot pocket. A scooping of the baked mac and cheese. Oh, for <laughs> Did you just say mac and trees? Cause that's exactly what it looked like. Like somebody poured sawdust on top of that shit. You know, after Thanksgiving ended and I got to start seeing y'all videos, I'm feeling a lot more thankful. Thankful that we not related. Water's boiling, we just drop in our hot dogs. After boiling for 57 minutes, we remove the hot. My brother, if you are boiling the hot dogs for 57 minutes, I want you to understand that something has went terribly wrong. That is not a pot anymore, that's a hot tub. What'd you do, throw them in the pot and then start filing taxes? Huh, reevaluating your life? Really, fam? There ain't no way on God's screen earth I'm paying $5 for that. As a matter of fact, you owe me 5 just for making me look at it. You telling me you went out there in this current climate and bought all them groceries just to make a pot of dirty dishwater? Just cooked pasta and only used half a jar of sauce. Now what? Put the rest of it in now. What you mean? Ain't nobody trying to eat that stingy ass spaghetti you made. Come on, man. I was feeling hungry when I went to Wendy's. Okay, first of all, I didn't even know Wendy's had a burger of that proportion. That That is crazy. Second of all, 
I would never eat that. Bro sound winded just from unwrapping that motherfucker. Boy, I'm not finna mess with that. You're not putting cheese in your hot chocolate? Then what are you doing? I, I mean, we, we usually just use marshmallows, but uh, I'm sorry, did you say cheese? Yo, you should be sent to purgatory. That is crazy. For dinner, we got the pizzle soup. This has been boiling for like... He, you said pizzle. My brother, that is a penis. A peaty whacker. Uh, that's a bowl of simmered shaft soup. Oh, no. Mm -mm, can't do it. I got a toothache just looking at that cookie. They said it's 100 grams of sugar and just one of them hogs. That is not dessert. That is diabetes. Look here, I'm gonna tell you something. You had me at the crunch, give me peace. Oh, come on now, give me peace. You gonna make me big, give me peace. Here is my macaroni, cheese, gravy, and mushrooms. You know, when I first heard of goulash, this is what I imagined it looked like. Now I'm just trying to figure out if everything okay at your house. I mean, this is the second time you done posted a plate that looked absolutely ridiculous. They're like dog regurgitation. They're like a prison punishment meal on that plate. Like, are you good? Well, that's one way to advertise a knife. That brisket tougher than teaching an old dog a new trick. Some of y'all need to get that knife to cut ties with y'all toxic eggs. I swear some of y'all don't even deserve a microwave, let alone an air fryer. An air fryer is one of the few cooking devices that has the instructions in the name, air fry. And you saw that and say, you know what, let me put some oil in that bit, bro. You need help. Not just a little sprinkle of sugar, a whole lot, like this. Like this. Hey, you might want to get off the gas, gang. That ain't the right way to make cereal. That's the right way to get your legs amputated. I can't tell if you're making a bowl of cereal or a cake. What I eat as a high-fat carnivore. Lots of raw steak. Just kidding. I actually like to sear my... I don't think they explained the concept to you correctly because, like, you you said just kidding, but, like, you, like, really in real life in the world bit into that raw-ass state straight out the pack. No seasoning. I'm glad you brought this up because we joke about white people not seasoning their food all the time. But we don't talk enough about the folks to overdo it just because they got a little pigment in their skin. But, like, old bay seasoning don't go in eggs, okay? Salt and pepper get the job done sometimes. You're putting your ancestors to shame. It was flaky but also creamy. I don't know. My tongue was... That look like shredded Parmesan cheese and fiberglass shards. I couldn't eat that, gang. Oh, no. Your pH balance gotta be out of whack like an Arkham and Solomon mitten. Piss probably smell like ammonia and Autobot leak. Is better than a potato chip. Put that on your mama legs, then. Exactly, you're not, because it don't taste better, okay? Let's stop lying in 2023 about this stuff being good. Unhealthy stuff has always tastes better than healthy stuff. Ain't nobody getting fat off carrots. There's a few things wrong with this video. First of all, you pulled the chicken out the best part, the skin, but who gets fried chicken and don't want the crunch, but that defeats the purpose. And, and, and then on top of that, I can still see the egg wash on that motherfucker. I don't think that chicken done yet. They're like, I am legend zombie flesh. Today we're making our deep fried brisket meatball with grilled mozzarella. Hey, I ain't gonna even lie. You had me at today. Give me peace. Oh, come on now. Give me peace. You gonna make me big. Give me peace. Mm -hmm, look here. I'm gonna need you to give me peace. Oh, come on now. Give me peace. You must think I'm going to beg. Give me peace. If I visit you and I say no to food, please. Look him. I can't lie to you. I don't have the slightest idea what that is. But I'm going to need you to give me peace. Oh, come on now. Give me peace. I don't like having to beg. Give me peace. It's a new year, new me. So let's start off with a healthy meal. Simply boy. Oh, we not finna do that. You said new year, new me. I'm gonna need you to go back to your old ways. You're not finna spend a year wasting chicken. First of all, you got the words healthy and plain mixed up because that look like a snowman heart on that plate. Have you ever tried tuna spinal jelly? Oh, all the time. I had some last week with my Arvark snout mucus. Like, bro, what? Come on, fam. You said that like it's some casual eat that you can get at McDonald's. What made you want to eat sea creature backbone grease in the first place? 
of one year of the infamous honey hot chicken recipe i recreated it and it's better than hey there uh <clears throat> why don't you give me peace oh come on now give me peace oh i get it you think that i am gonna beg no no give it Oh, they ain't gonna believe it. After all this time, you was gonna give me peace. You was really gonna give me peace. You didn't even make me beg with my peace. It led to my new invention, flat tacos. Boy, I tell you, that Columbus gene really be at work, don't it? Just out here discovering shit that already existed. Armana, that is a tostada. Crispy wings, loaded white queso cheese, meat. Look here, I don't know what strand of weed it was you smoked before you made that, but you have lost your damn mind. But I'm still gonna need me a piece. Oh, come on now, give me peace. You can't make me beg. Give me peace. McDonald's took their breakfast sauce off the menu, and I am still heartbroken over it. But I. Madam, this is not how we behave. You lack decorum. Or in other words, what you cannot do is spread the condiment over the top of that bagel like you just did over the hole onto your palm and then casually continue on with your conversation like it didn't just happen. My days. So I made fufu hot chocolate because you lot kept asking. Hey, can somebody tag the lady to be like, everybody's so creative. Because listen, I'm American, okay? I don't even know what part of Africa I originated from, but that just pissed it off. Ecco la nostra vegan. Wow. Oh, you done lost your damn mind. Now, there's no doubt that sandwich is indeed fire. But I don't think I want me a piece. Watch me give my man another reason why he should put a ring on it. Hot honey tenders with. <clears throat> you said another one. Oh, baby, I ain't need but one. Give me a piece. Oh, come on now, give me a piece. You gonna make me propose. Give me a piece. <laughs> That plate right there is $10. And people were saying that if you get that much food for $10, you got to question what you eat. Let me tell y'all something. That can be Slovakian Wookiee meat, and I'm still going to eat it. Let me get a General's chicken with a side of to-go box. Machine, I'm never getting rid of it. Look at that peanut butter. Spread on some bread. Put a little jelly on there. You think we just finna skip past what you just did? No, sir. Don't no normal person make sandwiches like that. You got bodies in your freezer, fam. You going to put the jelly directly on the peanut butter like that and then smear it, my boy? Look at him. If you would have took that out about 10 minutes ago, I probably would have asked you for a piece. I mean, I really would have asked you for a piece. Might even be for a piece. But you cremated that motherfucker, though. I'm going to pass. Brought ketchup sprinkles for her eggs. You? Uh, you know, it's just like when we said y'all need to season y'all food, <laughs> didn't nobody think it was going to end up like this. What? I didn't even know ketchup had a seasoning. Like, that looked like pixie stick on that plate. And then and on top of that, you had a container of regular ketchup in the background. Like, why, why you did that? Motherfucking fried chicken in a blanket. Uh, brother man, <laughs> look him. I don't know what it was that you smoked last night, but there ain't no doubt in my mind that it was gooder than a mug. But this right here don't make no damn sense. But I tell you what, you find out what it was, and you let me hit it. And I just might try me a piece. I ain't gonna lie to you. That sandwich looks so good, I think I'm gonna say, I got a one, uh, uh, way over town, uh, 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 that's good to me. Watch this, uh, uh, she take my money, uh, but she give me peace. So go ahead and give me peace. Oh, come on now, give me peace. You just made me sing. Give me peace. When I was a little girl, my grandmother taught me that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And you know, it's crazy because like wet bread was enough to enrage me on its own. But the fact that you moisturize it with booty fluid really put the nail in the coffin. You were supposed to make a sub sandwich. That's a septic sandwich right there. A BLT, bio lettuce and tomato. That's a gourmet toilet brush right there. And there was no need to go on with the story about Granny and Pawpaw. I knew enough about their relationship when I seen that first step in her recipe. Jeez. 
Cheese? What kind of cheese is that? They look like an asteroid fragment. They don't like no cheese. They're like a rusted propane tank. They're like a corrupted cork. They're like a barbarian bath bomb. Anybody eating that? Enseñar cómo pegarlos para evitar ponerles ese molesto palillo. Vean qué bonito. You have to forgive me. I haven't spoken Spanish since 2015, so I'm a bit rusty. I don't know what you said, but I tell you this. Depending on what you're making, I'm either going to need a recipe or an apology because that is a crazy amount of meat that you put on that tortilla. I keep seeing people doing pasta cakes, so I thought I'd give it a go. We have reached a point to where when I hear your voice, I automatically know I'm finna get upset. Understand, I don't give one, one half, or a fourth the fuck what you finna make. The moment you boiled that ground beef, all oh, your credibility went out the window. Today years old when I learned this is the proper way to cut a burrito. What do you mean proper way to cut a burrito? That's an oxymoron. There is no proper way to cut a burrito. The moment you cut the burrito, it's no longer a burrito. It's just ruined and you're a bad person. I don't know if you could tell, but I burnt the garlic bread. What you mean, don't know if we can tell? That bread is so black when you pulled it out the oven, the property value dropped. That bread is so black if I took it to Paris, Kanye would have made a song about it. That bag stronger than my desire to live, boy. I would say something about you cooking food in it, but I mean, you've been here long enough, you probably know something I don't. Damn, I wonder why they said that. Look at this. Look at him. I love burgers as much as the next man, but that's too much. I mean, come on now, that burger got more meat than a Riley Reed video. But I tell you what, you throw some cheese on there, a couple of little pieces of bacon. I just might ask you to cut me a piece. As a carnivore, is always an all you can eat meat restaurant. This one in particular. I feel like if you eat meat this raw, it should at least come at a discounted price. Like, you was honestly better off just sharpening your teeth and going and biting a wildebeest back on the Great Plains. I hope y'all made this video to show off the song and not that depressing, translucent, bouncy house bag of crab legs. First of all, ain't no seafood bowl supposed to have no broccoli in it. That don't even make no sense, dog. Look like it came out of swamp water. Boy, I love garlic as much as the next person, but that right there is outrageous, fam. There ain't no excuse for you to be walking around with your breath smelling like vampire repellent. Let's make something out of nothing. Today. Brother man, can you identify this right here? This is what we call a wish sandwich. Like, wish you had something to eat. That ain't nothing. But I am gonna need me a piece. Never tell this fried chicken was actually vegan. Bullshit, they look like deep fried zip ties wrapped in a coffee filter. I'm eating some air fried chicken. Mm -hmm. You know how I know that that wing was hot? Because the bone had steam coming off of it. And then you ate it without even going. It almost made me look past the fact that you chew like a hamster. It's $30 for that. But I need y'all to understand something. If I was to eat that ice cream cone right there in entirety, for the next week, I would be legally categorized as a nuclear weapon. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. <laughs>